Hey everybody, welcome to Happy Friday, and today we're going to have another paranormal question of the day, coming up right after the intro. And I'm back. So today has a nice Friday outside. It's I think 80 some degrees outside, and uh, yeah. So hopefully everybody's having a, a good Friday. Um, hopefully everybody's got it off and doing something exciting. Um, after this, I'm taking a nap. So <laughs> anyway, so. Today's paranormal question of the day, as soon as I get my phone set up here, is, and we have, hey, Loki, how you doing? Nice to have you in chat. I see you got my, <laughs> my message. <laughs> Anyhow, so today is uh, more or less kind of what, how you feel about um a particular subject in mind here i wasn't quite sure what kind of topic i was going to have uh, i was going through a lot of my questions and i figured well you know i really haven't talked much about this subject so i will pull up the uh question of the day and here we go so what are your views and thoughts about audio and video matrixing and have you have you heard of it much? Um, have you gone through like equipment and and uh, you know as you're diagnosing diagnosing your evidence and data through through your paranormal investigations? I can't talk today, sorry. Um, and you kind of go through it, and you're watching the video clip here, and it's like, gosh, I I, I think I'm seeing something, but I'm just quite not sure. And so when you're going through that and you just go back again and you review it and review it and then you start seeing something and then it starts to be like, hmm, is this what it really I think it is? Now it's playing tricks in your mind, you know? So now you see something and you can't unsee it. You know what I mean? So... Is it what it really is, or is it just playing tricks on you? Um, and the same thing when it comes to audio is when, again, you're reviewing your data and evidence, however you want to put it, and you come through a lot of stuff, and... Hey, Lori, how you doing? Yes and no. Okay. Um, and so when you come through your audio stuff and then you're, you got to kind of like have a trained ear for when you're kind of what you're listening for, you know, uh, if something sounds out of place or, you know, it's just, do you think it says what you think it says? And you keep going through it and keep going through it. And then you say, yeah, I think it, this, it says this. And then somebody else listens to it and they come up with something completely different, you know? And again, are your ears playing tricks on you? Scientifically, no. Spiritually, yes. Okay. So, yeah, that's the kind of stuff that, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about the, in today's subject is uh, audio and video matrixing. That's what I meant. Okay. All right. I mean, no, that makes sense. It makes sense. You know, uh, spiritually, you in the moment, you you hear this or you see this, but then when you review evidence scientifically. Uh, it turns out to be something different or nothing at all.
Yes, absolutely right, Lori. Your mind hears what it wants to hear, and your eyes see what it wants to see. And when it becomes a an unseen, yeah. And, if, and once it becomes a scene, you can't unsee it. Or once it becomes a, something you hear, you can't unhear it because it's you're set in your mind that this is what it actually is. So whatever you see, somebody will see it differently. Or whatever you hear, somebody will hear it differently. So it, it will confuse you, you know. Um, so, Lori, have you... Uh, have you looked at footage like now at the camp, the camera that I, I sent to you or gave you, sorry. Um, do you think that plays tricks on you once in a while? <clears throat> Just kind of curious if you think that kind of uh, plays tricks on you. Hey, Patricia, how you doing? Nice to see you. Just kind of waiting for Lori here. Or maybe she didn't. She might not have heard what I said. Um, or she could be typing. <laughs> Okay, no, but it catches. Oh, catch, catches a lot of infect. Oh yeah, infatuations or what do you want to call it? Yeah, reflections. Sorry, can't read today either. Can't talk and read today. What good am I? What good am I today? <laughs> it's a Friday. Omar equipment has bugs in the software. Yes, it does. Uh, ghost in the box. Yeah, uh, ghost boxes, uh, spirit boxes. They, they, yeah, they mess with you big time. Uh, they really do because, like I said, in the moment, like uh, I was in a jail, we had necrophonics going on, and. It just you, you try so hard to ha to hear when you're, someone else is ans asking questions, and you're trying to listen real hard of if it comes out what you want it to come out or what it is going to say. It just confuses you, you know, um, and you think it said this, and you they think it said that, you know. I review footage, and when I did that to, with the digital voice recorder, absolutely what they heard. Camera's going blurry. That's the first. Warts my eyes. See? Shit's messing with me. <laughs> I'd rather have a a broken radio. Okay. Tube radio. Alright. Makes sense. See if my camera here is out of focus and I don't know what's going on here. Pardon my my big old thumb getting in the way. Uh, at some point it will hopefully clear itself out. Um, anyway, so I was I was uh, like I said I was listening to the playback of the EVP session that I had, and uh, you know it was just kind of weird. It's like I thought I heard something. It completely wasn't what I heard, um, and what they were saying in the in the in the chat, uh, or I should say, what Cynthia was saying, what she heard, is exactly what she heard. Take down the comment, huh? A comment. Guess I'm not seeing what you're saying. Well, I think the the S assessment. Oh yeah, 
the SS method is 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 a a good method uh, on screen. Hmm. Oh, that's what you want. Um, let's see here. That might be the the messing with the video. Oh, um, I don't know. I've never had that issue before. Um, honestly. Let's see if it corrects itself. Huh. This is actually the first time. Hmm. Interesting. Because it was just fine not too long ago. Huh. That's weird. Sorry, I had to see my big fat thumb in there, but. Interesting. Uh, you talk uh, museum and camera got blurry. Yep, just like uh, cars not. Uh, yeah, just like cars not running. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, that was the first time that uh, that's ever happened. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> wow. Should we still continue to talk about the museum? Let's try it. So, anyhow. What I was talking about when we when I was in the jail, okay. Now that was that was kind of funky because I thought I heard something, Cynthia heard something, but she got it right and I got it wrong. So um, yeah, that was kind of funky. Yeah, now I have light streaks. Yeah, that's because I have a, a light on. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I know screenshot, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, now we're back to Yeah, oh well, yeah, damn. Damn streaks, yep. Uh let's see if I can maybe get it out of Yeah, that's still it. Well, I'll have to fix that in the next live. I don't have a, a cloth with me right now. Anyway. Yeah, I know. I, I have the like streaks or just come straight down from from behind. <laughs> so I don't know. That's my thumb. I probably got a lot of I got some greasy thumbs up there and I messed with it. <laughs> Makes it look like I'm stage, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> jail. Yep. I'm in jail. That's right. I'm in jail. <laughs> but uh yeah it's just my greasy thumbs i think um anyway as i was getting back to with the jail and all that stuff um uh yeah so when i went through the, the evidence uh she uh her what she heard was spot on right that's on my face right um and uh yeah, that was interesting. So her ears work a lot better than mine, but I could catch it in review with the headphones on. So, and that's, you know, uh, uh, that's just the example of what you think you hear in the moment. And when you go through evidence, you hear something different. Um, and there's another thing when it comes to like uh, 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 video mat mat matrixing. Um, now, where we're going with that is. <clears throat> so a video matrixing so it's like you get like a a window in the door okay and you're at a known well-known haunted location and something's on that screen you know on, on that glass and you think it's oh it's gotta be paranormal it's gotta be paranormal and uh you know, you, you look at it, you look at it, and you, it just it just looks like it's something there, you know. Um, and in the end, 
it turns out just to be a reflection, you know. And that uh, it kind of bums you up because you thought you had something in your evidence uh, and you caught like something in the window, like a face in a window or something like that. And it just turns out to be a reflection, you know. Uh, so that's has a lot to do with video matrixing and pictures. Spider web, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you see a spider web or something like that, or unless you saw a spider web in the back, <laughs> that's what you're saying, Lori. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you see a, a spider web in, in the window or uh, in a picture or whatever, video, you know, and you think it's there, and then all of a sudden it's it's nothing, you know. So it's it's all to your mind and your hearing, and if it's playing tricks on you and stuff like that. Um, has anyone here uh, really experienced some of the stuff that I'm talking about? Oh, okay. How's the paranormal show itself? Okay. I, you know, with the paranormal shows. Okay, the window on the camera. All right. Uh, now, with the paranormal shows themselves. A lot of times, if you get, if you like watch like. Uh, uh, paranormal caught on tape okay a lot of times they go through a lot of their their data and their evidence and they find something and i think they go through a fine tooth comb before they even display it on tv but sometimes like uh ghost hunters or or uh, uh ghost adventures you know they'll go and they'll automatically shine something into a window you know and all of a sudden they think right away oh it's paranormal it's paranormal and uh and then, then it turns out it's it's like it's nothing because but they will play it up in the video or TV show. They will play it up as much as they can play it up to see if they can trick you into thinking it's something that it actually isn't. So um, so that's what you're talking about. Paranormal shows. Yes, absolutely. They play that up as much as they possibly can, you know, just to confuse you guys. Um, and then to have you go back and keep watching and keep watching and thinking that you see what you see and then it becomes like now you see it you can't unsee it you know you're getting a bad echo huh uh oh wow what the heck well my boy is um my boy is playing in the other room so if you're hearing him that's probably what you're hearing um, he likes, uh, for some reason, when he knows I'm on, he likes to play his video games in the other room. Echo here. Hmm. That's funky, because I, I don't hear an echo. Huh. Because normally, because I have, like, uh, my, um, uh, audio here where I can I can tell how my speech is and if it's if there's an echo I'll hear it echo you're making me confused <laughs> this is too much of an easy day to confuse me <laughs> echo Or are you talking about echo in a show? Oh, there is there is no echo. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're you confused me. Sorry. I'm having a day, I guess, today. <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyway, um, Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, but, yeah, I mean, when it comes to shows, um, 
Yeah, I, I think you're you're right. I mean that there's things that they just they want to confuse us, you know. So we go back and we watch. They get all that money. That, I think when when we go back and watch these shows, I think they get a payday as to how much we watch, you know. And then you just keep on watching until you see it's finally absolutely not what you're seeing. Oh, dozen rods? Yeah, dozen rods are fun. Uh, actually, I have. Uh, my wife actually got me a pair of dozen rods for anniversary. Yeah, for an anniversary. And uh, I would think ghosts would, uh, would want to reserve their energy and use easy shadows and light energy. Uh, sometimes they can. Uh, I could see your point on that, uh, Loki. Well, that's what you meant. Okay. Um, the the uh, spirits can. I think they do wait sometimes. I really do. I I think they just wait to find the the right moment to, um, just to kind of tell uh, you know their story as to, um, when you're in that room and they're and they're wanting to show themselves and they use a light or a shadow, you know. Um, and whatever, sometimes can play it up. They can actually play it up themselves to feed what's in your mind, you know. So if you have a fear, maybe they're feeding off your fear. You know, that could be too. Right. Absolutely, Loki. So... And, and that's what spirits like to do. They feed off of our energy. They feed of what our fear is. Now, as far as going in and knowing what we're thinking, um, I don't know. I don't think spirits can know what we're thinking, really. Um, it's just, uh, I guess if you are uh, connected to that spirit, maybe they do know what you're thinking or what's going to be coming next, happen next. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. You might want to back out, Patricia, and go back, come back in. Um, that might be what's going on with your, if you're on a phone or computer. If you're on a phone, I could see where it is, uh, where it would be the issue. So. Uh, yeah, just back on out and come back in, and then it should take care of itself. And that you know, that's the thing. I I don't really think any, they can think know what you're thinking. Hey, how you doing, Shay? Welcome. Hope everything is going okay with your uh, pet there. Hey, Leslie, how you doing? Okay, and that makes sense. And, and that's a, that's a thing. I mean, uh, you're not alone with that, Leslie. Uh, there's a lot of people that do have what you call para hangovers, uh, because yeah, when you go in a in a location and you investigate really hard and go at it nonstop, you know, that can leave effect on on you, and for for days you can feel it. Absolutely. Hey everyone, so Shay Carroll here. Uh, she is my uh, co-host on the uh, Paranormal Bus Stop on Paranormal Buzz Radio. So we do that every third set, uh, every third Monday of the month. So uh, 
Give Paranormal Buzz Radio a, fo- a like and follow on Spreaker.com, and they're also available on all other internet radios. Small plug there for you. So, um, anyway, uh, so Shay, what do you think about audio and video matrixing? What are your views on it? Now that I got you here. I was actually going to have you come on today, but I saw what was going on, so... Give her a minute to uh, respond. Oh yeah, I have a Tesla coil. Uh, actually, it's in Iowa right now because I uh, I have uh, Raven Rose Paranormal that I run with a lot down in Iowa. Um, I bought one. I just kept it down there because they do a lot more investigating than I do. So I'm like, go ahead, take this, use this, and see how it works. And we we used it at Melbourne Manor. It's it's a very interesting uh, uh, device. Yeah, they they are a major issue. They can be, absolutely, especially in, in certain locations that you go to. If there's a whole bunch of windows and uh you know and you just run your video and pictures and all that stuff absolutely feedback yep easily can be mistaken energy push yep it can happen i mean uh i've i I should have taken some pictures when i was at uh, the museum, but I, I did not. I was so focused on other things while we were investigating that I should have just took some snapshots of, you know, the jail and, you know, the piano room and stuff like that. And who knows what I would have caught. I mean, maybe I would have caught an anomaly or a shadow person in my, in my pictures, but there again, you got to pay attention, you know, uh, always take two pictures at the same time. Cause that way, if something happens to be there, one, and then the second pick, there's nothing there. Well, then he has something to fall back on, if that makes sense. You know, um, and video footage, that could be extremely hard, too. I mean, with my eyes, who are you kidding? <laughs> video footage can be very hard sometimes for me. But um, there again, it's like you constantly got to look at the whole element of the video. And see what's out of place, you know. And sometimes that takes a while. It, you know, you could take a look at something three, or four times and not see it, and then you go back the fifth time, and then all of a sudden now you see something. You know, at that point in time, is it made for you to see it at that point in time? Oops. Yes, absolutely. Wait, okay. Well, see, now I haven't really done a wave accelerations. Now that's something different. I'll have to look into that. <laughs> yeah, you know me, I really gotta get up close. <laughs> Maybe I gotta close this one too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't share my secrets. <laughs> no, but it's interesting. Um, definitely interesting. I won't share it. I'll just look it up. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yes, one eye, Willie. Absolutely. <laughs> uh. I tell you, nobody needs to watch me do my evidence. Unless I'm listening to record. They can sit there and stare at me all day, and I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Free Willie. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't think anybody wants to see uh, Willie free. <laughs> 
I get kicked off of here, you know that. <laughs> uh, but um, anyway, <laughs> that's pretty much the 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 state of the show today. I mean, it's just uh, like like I said, it's it's just a matter up to you and how you feel about doing your investigations, you know, uh, and and how you go about it to. Um, uh, like like Shay said, do three to five burst pictures right away, you know, and and that's something easy you can do, you know. <laughs> oh man, I just opened a can of worms there. Um, <laughs> now, like I said, go to Paranormal Buzz Radio. Every day of the week, check out their shows. Let me tell you, you'll meet some new people, some awesome paranormal groups, and uh, learn a lot about the paranormal. So catch on Spreaker.com every day of the week. My show is on every third uh, Monday of the of the month, which is the Paranormal Bus Stop with Shay Carroll and Cynthia Drodius. Also, we have Ashley Storm with us those nights. Hashtag Free Willy. When it out, throw it out. Absolutely. If you don't think it's... Um, unless, before you actually win it out, throw it out, at least have another person check it out real quick. You know? If, if, if you feel that your eyes are seeing this and then they see something different, you know? Or if they're seeing the same thing that you're seeing, yeah, throw it out. Because if it's it's not wanted, you know? <laughs> throw it out uh, well yeah I mean it, it, it all depends I mean like I said that's up to you when you when you're reviewing evidence and data I'm using both Shay um, well, I always like to have a second person listen or to look at what I'm doing and I just push on this yeah that too or SD card there's always a whole lot of room on SD cards Especially if if you get the uh, the terabyte kind, yeah, you get a lot of room then. Absolutely, I mean, I got body cams, I got my wise cams, I have my phone, my tablet, uh, you know, digital voice recorders. Right there is a lot of SD cards. If you doubt your own stuff, throw it out. Yeah, if you see something have a pure review first i see your point i see your point um yeah in fact last week i was listening to, to some audio and i'm like gosh i'm i think i hear this but i'm not quite sure so i took it upstairs you know i said hey i had my wife listen to it because you know she was there with me when we were in, we were investigating i'm like listen to this tell me what you hear you know, and it's like, this is what I hear. But now I'm kind of feeding it into her as to what I'm hearing instead of just letting her hear and then let her come up what she thinks. So that's another thing, too. I can't really feed someone else the information that what I'm hearing. I just kind of got to let them do it themselves. Lots of EMF with that equipment. Yeah, it can. It can. Uh, if you're spread out quite a bit. Um, you know, if it's all tight, close knit to each other, yeah, that could be a lot. Right? See, Jay knows what I was talking about with that last point I was making. So that's always a thing. Never ever feed that person as to what you are hearing. Give them the the video. Give them the audio. Let them listen and see what they say. If you're both on the same page, that was some good teamwork. If you're opposite, back to the drawing board, you know. And that's where uh, excellent data can come out, you know. I mean, that's, I don't know, that's just me. 
that's just me. Being a paranormal investigator, uh, you know, even though I, I have not done a lot of locations like a lot of other people have, uh, always learning. This field is never, ever ending in learning. And that's when you get better at what you're doing. The more you do it, the better you get at it. So, you know, right away, oh, this, I know what this is, toss it out, you know. So that makes, that turns you from an average of paranormal investigator into a good par paranormal investigator. So, let's see where we are here. Holy cow. It's only been a half hour. Holy man, it feels like it's been longer. <laughs> man. It feels like it's been like 45 minutes to an hour already. Let's see, Roland sent it in me. Oh yeah. See? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. See, I and I like to listen and I like to learn and I you know, uh I'm just an engineer. <laughs> Funny. Being drawn. Oh yeah. Yep, yep, I hear ya. Um you know, like I said, I, I, I like to listen. I like to listen to shows. I do like like watching people uh, do interviews. You learn a lot. You really do. If you don't think that you're learning something, then, you know, uh, what you know, what's the point of become, still doing a paranormal investigating, you know? Um, that's why I do these shows. I mean, I'm learning just as much as you are. You know, even though I'm talking, but I'm still learning, you know, because Loki taught me about something else, about, about uh, something with the wave stuff. You know, there again, something new. Learn something new every day. And that's why I think podcasts are a wonderful thing. I think that uh, the Facebook Lives are great, and you watch Facebook Live uh, investigations. You learn different styles. You learn different groups. You learn how the communication goes. And that's the big key of being a paranormal investigator. Oops. Yeah, yeah, it can if you're on the same team and and it it uh, if if it all works. That's the thing. Yes, that's what I meant. Wave generator. Yes, that's if you're on if you're all on the same page and know what's going on. Then it, it works out great being with other people. But if you can't have that common ground, then it's best not to be with other people. Okay. I said, I'll, I'll mark these and uh, definitely, uh, hey, you know, I got a Friday. I got a Friday to think about it and Saturday and Sunday and, you know, all the time in the world to think about this stuff. It never ends. It never ends. <laughs> Even Shay could tell you, it never ends. <laughs> I'm constantly bugging the shit out of her about stuff. <laughs> you know? But there again, like I said, that's how you learn. Oh, I know. Absolutely. I hope things are going better for you, uh, Loki. And, uh, you know, get your gaming stuff back up and going. And, yeah, absolutely. It makes it, makes it more fun. Uh, it gives you a wide range of options, like you said on there. It does. It really does. And then you learn, okay, let's try his style. Okay, let's try her style. Let's try this experiment, you know. It makes it different from others. Oh, yeah. Join the club. So there's, there are some days I got to pick my arm back up and go back to taping or pulling tape or, you know, pick my leg up and walk into work. Yeah, I hear you. Brain's always moving, though. So there are days where 
My brain is moving so fast, and Shay can account for this. I miss words when I'm trying to type to her. <laughs> I end up making little substitutes at the end about this is what I meant to put in. This is what I meant to put in. <laughs> the brain's moving too fast. I don't understand. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> That's how it goes. Yeah, uh, that uh, that does happen. Because um, you're you know you're thinking about it because you know you're by yourself. You know that uh, you know as to what you're looking for. You know, um, are you in there? That this is what you're specifically looking for, then that's why it feels alone. Sometimes it feels scary because you know it might happen as to what you're looking for. But if you're not thinking about it and you're just there to do the investigation and there to uh, on a solo SI investigation, you know, and then it happens. I mean, sometimes it can be scary, sometimes it can be cool, you know. True, true, because you're on the same page. You want to be different. Right, you are not alone. Absolutely. But, I don't know, today was a good good discussion. Short, I mean, 42 minutes into it. I mean, uh, got some streaks in the behind me. You had the blurry camera when I was talking about the museum, like Lori was saying. Uh, interesting show today. Of course, now i got to clean my camera. Got my greasy, grubby fingers all over it that casts a, a light behind me. But, see, matrixing right there. All those little speckles are behind me. It's all matrixing. <laughs> it's my lights in the ceiling. <laughs> it's not flashy orbs. <laughs> Unless Shay. Shay, is that an orb? <laughs> She'll tell you. Fuck no, it's dust. <laughs> Yes, of course she goes opposite when I say fuck no. <laughs> oh, shit. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Are you showing me ESP here or what? <laughs> well, Key, is that ESP? <laughs> I can assure you I have no ESP. <laughs> Oh, fuck it. What? <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now I'll go take my nap. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'm due for one. I'm due for one. But, uh, fantastic. I enjoy all you guys being here. Patricia and Leslie, Shay. Loki, Lori, I thank you all for joining me today. It was an excellent show. Uh, a little running off of, of a little of what was going on. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to talk about today, but I kind of figured, well, I'm going to just throw this in there. So, and uh, before I go today, I just kind of want to mention that after I take a drink, obviously. <clears throat> You know me, Shay. Got to have my Mountain Dew. But uh, real quick, um, so this coming up Monday, uh, there is no guest. There, uh, there is actually no paranormal question of the day Monday night. In fact, I am real quick. 
Slurp, slurp, yelp. <laughs> uh, microphone catches everything. Leave it all in, right? Um, so this Monday night, uh, a, what was it? 7 p.m.? Yeah. 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time and 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be on the Paranormal Pride show uh, with Denise Pridemore. So she's on Facebook. She's also on YouTube, I believe. And uh, the Paranormal Pride is a really interesting show. Um, she's on Mondays. And, uh, you know, it's she's got a lot of good topics and stuff. Uh, I got the chance to meet her about a, a year and a half ago, I would say. And a uh, really nice lady. Um, and her husband, Ron. Uh, so they run the show together. So when you get a chance to stop in and say hi on Monday night, and, uh, you know, she'll throw a question at me, of course, I'm sure. Yes, they are awesome. Absolutely awesome. And uh, I know she'll come in and hammer with all these questions that she knows that I have. Um <laughs> And <laughs> throw me off my my rocker probably, <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely check out the Paranormal Pride. Uh, like like I said, seven to nine Central, eight to ten Eastern, and uh, it should be a good time. So I uh, hope to see you all there. <laughs> and I I hope to see you all there and bring some questions. Low key, uh, Lori, if you're still in chat, uh, Leslie. Um, Patricia, um, yeah, just come in, say hi, whatever, and you know, yes, you too, Loki. So, um, with that, uh, I thank you all for joining me today. And, uh, like I said, uh, you have been watching the Paranormal Brew and the BB3 TV network. Also, if you get time to go over to the MGS Paranormal YouTube channel, please give a like and follow. I greatly appreciate it it helps me out a little bit more and it also helps me to push out the the message that i'd like to to uh, uh give you all and have fun in chat so with that i bid you adieu and i will see you wednesday so long everybody